Hey guys, welcome to my garage. I'm gonna be doing a video series with Tahatsu where I'm gonna go over all of the maintenance that you should be doing for a 50 horsepower Tahatsu. Now, if you've got a 40 or a 60, you can use these videos to help you do your maintenance as well. Follow them step by step. If you have something other than a 40, 50, or 60, you need to check your owner's manual, but this can give you some good ideas of at least what you should be doing and where to look. We're gonna go through the parts you need, the tools you need, step by step. I like to do everything myself and it can get frustrating when you jump on YouTube and you don't have a parts list or you don't have a tool list or you don't have step by step. So it's something I really want to nail down in this series is everything you need, one stop, get it done so that you can spend less time in the garage and more time out on the water feeling the wind. Now I get asked a lot how I feel about this motor. Do I like it? Do I hate it? And to be honest, I absolutely love it. It has a five year extended warranty. It has the best in class power to weight ratio. And for someone that spent their life on the sea, it is a workhorse. I know it's going to get me home at the end of the day. I'm not, I'm not going into stories. If you've watched enough videos, you may have picked up on some of the stuff that this motor has been through. I went with a 50 horsepower on the back of my skiff. One of the big reasons, honestly, was it was what was recommended from Brian Little over at Sabine. And I trust him when he designed these boats and built these boats. He wanted to make sure that they could get you where you needed to go and get you home. And that's what this motor 100% will do. A couple of the key things, one, it's a short shaft. And also Brian has worked with prop manufacturers in this engine to get the best performance out of this engine for this skiff. All right guys, I hope that piqued your interest. I hope you're excited to learn a little bit more about how to take care of these outboards. I'm gonna set up a playlist on the channel so you can have easy access to all the videos. There's gonna be links down below so that you guys can easily find any of the maintenance that you need. All right, thanks for following along. Where did I put all those tools?